Hello grade 9 students, today's lecture is about um, is about the enzymatic property and the activity of the enzymes so we want to see if the temperature can affect or not the activity of the enzyme or activity of enzymes so we want to study the effect of temperature on the enzymatic activity so for example if i uh, if i have for example this test tube containing salivary amylase as in an enzyme so this one here is an enzyme and we we have to use its specific substrate which is the cooked starch okay as a substrate specific to this enzyme and we need to put a suitable chemical medium which is neutral so I need to add distilled water and now I want to choose the suitable temperature for this tape tube so we can place this tube at a water bath of 70 degrees celsius for example or we can use a um, a water bath of 0 degrees celsius or 37 or which temperature do I need to place it so here in this lecture we are going to study that the temperature affects the activity of the enzyme so in case I place the temperature at 70 I will have no digestion at this temperature and also if I place at 0 degrees celsius I will have no digestion but at 37 it's a suitable temperature for the activity of salivary amylase so now I want to study the effect of the temperature on the activity of the enzyme so if I have an enzyme and I want to study its um, I want to see its activity so I need to what I need to um, to use a suitable temperature here we have a doc we have the document D label page I, I think in the it's in the third activity in activity three I have document D with D which represents the activity of an enzyme and temperature so here the variable factor is the temperature we are varying the temperature from 0 to 60 and we are studying the activity of the enzyme as function of the temperature so here we need to focus on this point for example at this point at this point and also at this point for example let's start reading this exercise in order to study the effect of the temperature or of temperature on the enzymatic activity we measure the activity of a digestive enzyme as function of the temperature as shown in the adjacent document Pause the problem solved in this experiment so we have to take it from here what is the effect of temperature on the enzymatic activity and don't forget to put a question mark so we are going to study if temperature affects or doesn't affect the activity of enzymes look at this one here at when the temperature is zero at zero degrees celsius the enzymatic activity is null so no digestion takes place at uh, zero degrees celsius why because look at the activity of the enzyme it's zero when we go to 20 degrees celsius if i place the test tube for example this one here at 20 degrees celsius i see the enzymatic activity is now about 30 percent so the enzymatic activity here is partially or the enzyme is partially activated not completely okay so at 20 degrees celsius okay ماشي الحال بس الانزيم ما كتير عم بقطر okay it's partially activated when we go to the 37 degrees celsius look at the enzymatic activity now it's 100 about 900 percent so this one here is the best temperature it's the optimum temperature the best one the optimum we say it's the optimum temperature and look what happens when we go to 60 degrees celsius it's again zero 
percent as the activity of the enzyme. So here, at which temperatures the enzymatic activity is null? يعني الانزيم doesn't doesn't act at zero degrees Celsius doesn't act ما بيشتغل the enzymatic activity is null or at sixty degrees Celsius and above and above because if I want to continue the graph it stays zero أي temperature from sixty and above is taken من لي إن the enzymatic activity is null so the enzyme cannot digest at zero and at six degrees degrees Celsius and also above six degree Celsius. So you have to know the meaning of the enzymatic activity is null. What do we mean by null? Null means zero. It's inactive. Now we want to learn how to make analysis for this graph. This one here is 37 degrees Celsius, not 42. We have to take we have to talk about this point أقل وحدة and this one أعلى وحدة and this one أوطى وحدة okay and the variable factor is the temperatures and I need to start this analysis by as without as you will get zero لما بتتغير temperature من zero degree Celsius to 37 degree Celsius comma the activity of the enzyme increases from zero percent to 100% point while and very important this while here no means while as the temperature increases from 37 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius the activity of the enzyme decreases from 100% to 0% فإذن تحكي على هيدي الطلعة بالأول then I want to talk about this decrease here بلش بالvariable factor from 0 to 37 فإذا بلش as the temperature increases from 0 degree Celsius to 37 degree Celsius comma بس غير الأكسس بحط comma comma the activity of the enzyme increases from 0% to 100% and don't forget the units point while comma as the temperature increases from 37 degree Celsius to 60 degree Celsius comma the activity of the enzyme decreases from 100% to 0% point ما في significance because it's not interpretation it's analysis no acquired knowledge is required here I, يعني ما حدا يكتب لي من عنده شي كلمات since بتاخد صفر we إذا بشوف we or since على السريع بحط صفار مثل ما شفنا as the temperature increases from this point to this point بحط اليونت كما the activity of the enzyme increases blah 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 من كفر conclude an enzymatic property show will enzymatic property study here hence each enzyme acts at a suitable temperature اللي هي 37 degree celsius هون الاناليسز بتتدربوا عليها كتير واللي مفكر حاله من اول مرة ممكن يكون بيقطع على الاناليسز بيكون شاطر واللي بلاقي حاله ضعيف فيها بدي يعمل many practices هلا هون في عندي ايديا كتير مهمة بدي احكي فيها اللي هي about which is about the change in temperature فإذا from 37 at normal temperatures of the body between 37 degrees Celsius to 40 the enzymes are active so from 37 to 40 the enzymes are active thus a chemical transformation takes place and we have digestion so أنا بس شوف هيدا 37 to 40 يعني أنا تقريبا عندي 100% the enzyme is active مرتاح لوضع enzyme is active temperature suitable في chemical transformation يعني في digestion يعني في molecular simplification يعني في hydrolysis كتير منيح فإذا هيدا normal temperature of the body temperatures of the body هلا إذا رحنا at cold temperatures the enzymes are inactive so at cold temperature temperatures like 0 degrees Celsius or minus 5 degrees Celsius or minus 10 or minus 15 or minus 3 as you want for example cold temperatures what happens to enzymes at cold temperatures honey I have no chemical transformation land enzymatic activity will be zero no enzymatic activity the enzyme it's frozen 
but if we place or if sorry but if we replace the enzymes at normal body temperatures يعني اخذته from اخذته من وين لوين كان هو at zero اوكي كيوب كان at zero بالثلج وجبته at 37 degrees celsius the enzyme restores its activity and thus a chemical transformation takes place and thus also digestion will occur فاذا انا نقلت الكيوب من 0 ل 37 حشوف digestion ايه حشوف يعني كانت الانزيماتيك اكتيفيتي 0 0% كان الانزيم ما عم يشتغل ات 37 صار 100% اكتيف 100% ريستورز اتس اكتيفيتي تو ميك كيميكال ترانسفورميشن اور تو ميك دايجستشن فاذا انا اذا عندي انزيمز اند اي وونت اي دونت وونت تو يوز ذيم اي وونت تو 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 كونزيرف ذيم يعني انت اذا بمصنع وعندك انيني مثلا اوكي وبقلبها انزيمز وخلصت الكيميكال ترانسفورميشن تبعيتي وانا بدي اي وونت يعني تو كونزيرف بدي حافظ عليها بدي خبيها بدي استعملها بعد شهر او شهرين اوكي سو اي وونت تو كونزيرف ان ا ريفريجريتر او مش ريفريجريتر بالفريزر لانه الريفريجريتر ما حتكون التمبريتشر صفر حطه بالثلاجه الفريزر فاذا باخذ هالانينه بحطها بالفريزر بجمد كثير منيح فاذا مثل ما قلنا انه البروتينز فيه يخبيهم وحطهم وين؟ حطهم ات بحطهم ات كولد تمبرتشرز فاذا واضح اذا انتم بقلب مصنع وعندكم انزيمز بدكم تخبون خذون على الثلاجه على الفريزر وخبون فيهم وبس بدكم هن بترجع بفتح الفريزر وبشيلهم وبستعملهم واتس اكتيفيتي از ريستورد فاذا انتبهوا لهيدي الجمله ذا انزيم ريستورد اتس اكتيفيتي اند ذا كيميكال ترانسفورميشن تيكس بليس اجين Now at high temperatures, is a is a rehat at six degrees Celsius and above. What will happen? The enzymes become destroyed. So the enzymes are destroyed. أنا بس أربع six degrees Celsius يعطيك العافية. The enzymes are destroyed now. No digestion. Even even if I go to thirty seven degrees Celsius, خلاص باي باي حلوين. ده الكب. يعني أنا إذا عندي مصنع أدوية. وعم بعمل سينثيسز او عم بعمل كيميكال ترانسفورميشن لماده فروم اي تو بي باي ذا يوزنج باي يوزنج ان انزيم فاذا عندي هون بقلب مصنع ان انزيم از ريسبونسبل فور ذا كيميكال ترانسفورميشن اوف اي ان تو بي وحدا من ال من الكنترولرز ترك التمبرتشر مثلا صار في هيتنج صار في اوفر هيتنج ما بعرف شو صار فجأة لقيت التمبرتشر صارت 70 وانا كنت عم بستعمل هيومن انزيمز اخذينهم انزيمز من الانسان يعني فبتطلع انه ات 70 شو عملت بحالي؟ دمرت الانزيمز سو ذا انزيمز ناو ار ديسترويد لو رجعت بعدين بردت وحولتها لل 37 نو دايجشن ويل تيك بليس بيكوز ذا انزيم واز اوريدي ديسترويد ات 70 ديجري سيلسيس I will have no chemical transformation at 37 degrees Celsius. فإذا يا جماعة انتبهوا بس روح على 60 and above the enzymes here are destroyed. لو رجعت ال temperature على 37 يعني مع التيوب حطيته at 70 رجعت قررت إنه إيه شو عملت بحالي بدي رجعه على 37 باي باي يا حلوين. The enzyme was already destroyed. And no digestion will occur. بينما إذا كان at zero degrees Celsius هيدا التيوب مع الإنزيم والسبستريت وكل شيء ورجعت شو عم عم أقول شو عملت بحالي أنا حطه على السبعة وثلاثين تشوف digestion. I will have digestion. لأنه هون it was inactive. Okay, it was inactive. كان منه شغال. It was frozen. مش كان destroyed. بينما هون it was destroyed at seventy. وهذا كان كل شيء